We are live. Welcome, everybody. Good evening. We are going to get warmed up now. Wait for people to start joining in. Oh, okay. Bringing that out. All right. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. All right, let's start jogging, Marty. We're going to get right to it, right? What, what time is it? It's 6.30, so let's go. Yeah, 6.30. Here we go. All right, we're going to start jogging, you guys. We'll start warming up. No, actually, we're going to start marching. No, I'm just going to march a little bit with you. How are you guys doing? We um, started our Zoom workouts, and we'd love for you to guys for you guys to check that out too. And a little skip. Hope everybody had a good day. It was certainly beautiful outside today, wasn't it? Or out on their bikes and jogging. All right, nice job, Marty. If you guys are staying healthy and happy. Marty is playing client tonight and I am playing coach. So you ready for those arm circles, Marty? How's our body feeling? Great. All right. Excellent. You should do 10 in each direction. And then when you're done with 10 in each direction, we're going to, well, when you're done going back, you're going to go forward. Keep those hips still. Remember, you got options here. If this bothers your shoulder like it was with me this week, you can bend those elbows a little bit. And with those, um, after that, hip circles, five in each direction. One, two, three, four. Five, other direction, one, warming up those hips, two, three, four, five, getting those joints moving, getting that synovial fluid moving around. And after that, we got heel to butt. Heel to butt, five on each side. If that's not an option for you, you could do this balance work. The knees going in front, or you could hold on to a chair. And so rockets are after this, Marty knows. And the rockets were doing five in, five in each direction or 10 or eight? Doesn't say. Okay. Is that four, five, six, another side, one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so we got shoulder flexion, so we're going to keep those arms straight. Yep, just make sure you, just like you do against the wall. Make sure you don't arch that back as you come up. Keep your body straight. And when you're done with how many of those? Six? Eight? Okay, we're doing eight of those. And then we're going to do the uh, shoulder external rotation. 
turn to the front now so everybody could see that way. Yes. Yes. Good, good, good. And we're going to come down to the mat after this in a child's pose. We'll do our breathing drill. Child's pose position. Yeah, you could probably come up a lot more. Yep. There's enough space. And so in this position, you're sitting back onto those uh, heels. And you're making sure that when you take that breath in, you should feel your belly up against your legs. When you take that inhale, your belly should expand. That you should actually feel it on your legs. And exhale. And shut my phone off. Oh, wait. Hold on. This is someone who's supposed to be here. Ooh. Could you guys hear me? Turn up your volume, patty cakes. Sorry, guys. She, what? Oh, wait. This just went to another, something else popped up. All right, so floor pikes, we have five of those. I'm trying to help somebody get into YouTube right now. So you're in a high plank. And you're pushing those hips back, pressing those hands into the, into the floor. Okay, and then bridges. We're flipping over on your backs. We're going into bridges. Remember to relax those shoulders. They shouldn't be tense. Marty turns his palms up um, so he doesn't press into the floor. That's an option too. He's also flexing his feet. You don't all have to do that, but if you want a little bit more glute engagement, you can flex those feet. Okay, good. good. All right, she has the volume. Okay. How you feeling, Marty? Good. All right. One more. From here, we're doing hip abduction, and we're going to stay on the side. So you're going to lie on your side, and your body will be in a straight line, unlike the clamshells where you bend the knees in. in. So it's working the same muscles as we do with the clamshell. Um, but Marty's bringing his leg up only to about here, which is what I want you guys to do. Um, the other thing is, uh, I don't want you. So in other words, I see a lot of this toes pointing up and the leg going all the way up. We want toes pointing forward and this leg going to right about here. You'll really feel it in the outside of that hip that way. So each movement is very controlled. It's an exhale as you lift. It's an inhale as you lower. And you have eight on each side. Here we go. See, those toes are pointing forward. So I want you to actually look down at your feet. Make sure. Because otherwise you're not hitting the right muscles. If the, if the toes are pointing up, you're definitely not hitting the right muscles. You can even try and go a little pigeon toe. You could even try and bring those toes down. Let's see what that feels like. Okay. Looking good. Warming up. And what's next? Shin rolls are next. So starting in a seated position, hands leaning back dropping the knees to one side, and then sitting up nice and tall. 
So when you do that, Marty, can you bring your torso this way more? Why? Your hip won't let you? Okay. All right. And, of course, your other option is this is uh, prone. So I'm sorry, supine. So you're dropping your feet, your knees side to side. Yeah. So you can do this one. You guys know about that. Do you remember? Very nice. Very nice. For the shin rolls, we're going to do a half kneeling hip flexor mobility exercise. This will counter the effects of uh, if you're sitting all day in front of a computer. And remember, with, with this exercise, you're going to squeeze the glute of the leg that's down. So if your left knee is down, you're squeezing that left glute cheek with every exhale, say. How's that glute cheek? To intensify it, you could drive that knee down into the ground. Left knee. And you're doing an eight count here. Eight count? Six count. Hip flexors warming up. Don't worry, we'll get to the juicy stuff, stuff soon enough. When you're done with these, you're going to go right into that prisoner, prisoner rotation. So listen, here's another thing I want you to do. No clasping behind the head. We're going right here, right here. And then we're going to do that turn. Inhale to the front. Exhale as you twist, twisting to the the leg that's in front. So it's really important to keep this still. Because if that's still, it means that your hips are still. And if your hips are still, that means your lower back is still. Because we want you turning from your thoracic spine. Other side. Get it? Good. Inhaling to the front and exhaling to one side. So you're not going to both sides. Inhaling to the front, using that breath. Let that breath move you. Let it move you. What's that song? Let your breath move you. Let's make a song. What's next? Lateral squat. So we're gonna come on up to a standing position. Is that right? Great idea. That's much more efficient. So single leg rock back. You're going from a quadruped position, one leg out to the side. That foot's on the floor, by the way. And then you're pushing those hips back. Now, see how Marty's got his knee way out to the side? You don't have to do that. You can bring that knee right underneath your hip. That's What he's doing is a lot more of an intense stretch. All right, so then we'll get up and do our lateral squat. That's that 22% Sicilian. That's the Sicilian in me. Make you a pizza? And then, so that's a great stretch. Now you're coming up and doing a lateral squat. So Marty's going to give you all angles here. So lateral squat, squat is real wide with those feet. It's very similar to what we just did. So you can go with your arms. You don't have to use your arms. You can if you want to. But I want you to think about there. a chair is back there behind you. And this, this shin should hardly move. It's your... <laughs> yeah, you're really pushing that booty back. All right, other side. Yes, like if there was a wall behind you, you'd be bumping up against the wall. 
All right, so great. That's um, that's our warm up. What? Oh, sorry. One more thing. Toe touch squats to stretch. Toe touch. You go down into a squat. You straighten out again. If that's not an option for you, you're doing straight up toe touches or straight up knee touches or shin touches. The key is to get those hips back. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. And that's your warm up, folks. The next thing we're going to do is uh, core work. So it's going to be dead bug. You're going to do eight of those. And then we're doing side planks for 20 to 30 seconds. Um, we're doing two sets of that. So grab your water, take a little break. Yeah, great. Superb. I know, I know. I'll check and see if we're on Facebook right now, just to confirm. Okay, so you guys ready? Get that dead bug going. Arms are out to your side. I'm just just confirming that we're live on Facebook, which is what we should be right now. Hopefully it's working. Uh-oh. Maybe not. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Just want to All right, so on this dead bug, we're going to take that two-second hold when you straighten your leg. Of course, you have options here. You don't have to bring that leg out that far. You can just tap down. You can move from that hip joint and tap that foot down. You could also bring your knees in a little closer, too. So there's so many um, variations of this exercise, so you can make it your own. We want you working hard, but not straining, putting any unnecessary strain on that back. The microphone's plugged in here. Pro probably not, not unless you talk really loud and you're up here. Or I'll, I'll count the next time. Okay, you guys ready for side plank? All right. Side plank. And I'm going to watch the clock for you guys and go. And we're up. So while you guys are holding this plank, there are options. You can bend that knee on the bottom. And when you do that, you make sure that top leg is on the floor. All right, so that'll make it a little bit easier. Um, we started with the second hand at the 10, right? So we got 10 seconds left. And three, two, one, come on down. Bring it right over to the other side. Okay. And come on up for 30 seconds. You do what you can. If you want to work up to 30 seconds, that's fine. Start with 20. Work up to 30. Okay. Looking good. And you have five seconds left. Three, two, one. Okay. So we'll give you one minute, and we're going to repeat that one more time. Hope you're feeling good. Okay. Water, stay hydrated.
20 seconds left to your, of your break. We start up on the dead bug again and get into position. Um, you have five seconds left. I did promise them 60 seconds. All right. Okay, and go. Let's go on that dead bug. Here we go. So it's one, two, and up. Follow the count. So it's one, two, and back up again. When you straighten your leg, then you count to two. Other side. One, two. Remember, modify this if it's bothering your back. One, two. These are super hard. One, two, and back up. One, two. Nice. One, two. One, two. Back up again. One, two. One, two. Good job. Um, what's the total there, Mom? Okay. He's up to eight. On the other side, okay. All right. Take a little stretch if your back needs it, if you want to hold your knees into your chest. You need to release that back, and then we're going to go do side planks. So set up for a side plank. And in three, two, one, you're up. All right. You're breathing. You're smiling. Make sure your head is looking that way. So sometimes people extend their neck a little bit. Or they look down, so you're going to look straight ahead. And right now you are 20 seconds in, so 10 seconds left. Breathing. Excellent job. Three, two, one, and that's it. So that's it for core. Oh, that. Oh, I thought we did both sides. <laughs> all right. Marty's keeping us all honest. Okay, and you're up. 30 seconds. Looking good. Looking good. Halfway there. you got 10 seconds. You can do it. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Woohoo! All right. While you guys are resting, I'm going to explain um, your strength circuit. So we're going to go goblet squats, um, a pushing motion, so a push up or an overhead press. If you don't have any weights, you're going to hold a tall plank. A tall plank is the plank on your hands. All right, so it's a push up on a piece of furniture to elevate, a push up on the floor, on your knees. Um, a reverse lunge is the third exercise. Um, or a bottoms up split squat. Bottoms up split squat is when you have, you'll take a pillow and then you're gonna come up from the floor and go back down again. That's a bottoms up split squat. Okay, and if they can't do those, it's, it's a single leg hip hinge, right? All right, so if that's not good on your knees, if lunges are like a no-no, you're going to do these single leg hip hinges. After that, we've got a row or a pull apart or a, uh, don't worry, we're going to tell you each time, or a T-spine. All right, Marty's going to show you. So we've got pull aparts. That's a pull apart. You have a bent over row. Bent over row. Yes. Or a, a prone T, which is on your belly. Thumbs are facing up. You're squeezing that scapula together, working that upper back. So, okay, one of those three options. And if you have any questions, put it in the chat, please. And that's it. So we're ready to go. So if you don't have weights for the squat, you can... 
grab a case of water. All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're going to do 12. We're going to do 12 repetitions, and we're going to repeat these four exercises three times. All right. Here we go. So we're going 12 squats. I'll count it out for you guys. You ready? Set your feet up. And you're going to push those hips back. And here we go. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, make sure you get those hips back. Nine. 10, you pretend you're sitting in a chair. 11, 12, okay. Get ready for push-ups. Push-ups on your couch, push-ups on your countertop, push-ups on your knees or a high plank. All right, set up. Here we go. That's one or a one-legged push-up. Two, three, four, nice work, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Nice job. We're going to get into those lunges now. Reverse lunge, here we go. 12 on each side. That's one. So remember, if you're not doing lunges or bottoms up split squat, you count, Marty, okay? The bottoms up split squat is when you have the pillow on the ground and you come straight up. Or you're doing a single leg hip hinge, which is this one. Okay? If the, if the lunges, if your body's like, no, I don't do lunges. Woo! How many have on that side? Seven. Okay, so seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Couple seconds, shake out those legs. Other side. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, we're going to work the back. If you have weights, you want to do a bent over row. If you have tubing, you're going to do a pull apart or you're doing the prone T, which is the exercise on your belly where you're doing these. Okay? What? Oh, thank you. All right. There we go. One, two, three. If you are in this position, it's really, really important that this is flat and that it's parallel to the ground. Parallel to the ground means it's this, <laughs> okay? Um, if you don't feel comfortable in this, like you're in the right spot, do the prone tees, okay? Because that's a, that's, a, that's a pretty hard position to get into. Okay, one minute break, and then we're going to repeat all that. How are you guys feeling? That's good. Bernadette, she's late to the party. No one else has said hi on Facebook, so I don't know if it's this uh, the settings on, on StreamYard. I'm just going to check it out right now and see if people are there. Hmm. Hmm. 
Mm, not a lot of people around tonight. They must be out in the beautiful weather. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, we're coming up on a minute rest, and then you guys are going to repeat it. Okay. Cool. Ready, Marty? All right. Doing those squats. So set your feet up. Get your mind right. Brace that core. Nice tall posture each time. Each time you come up, you're coming to a completely vertical position. So try not to do that little lean back. Very nice. Very nice. What's that count, Marty? Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Hmm? Well, you think it's hot? It's hot because you're working. I did not turn the heat up when I came in. All right. Push-ups. I think Marty's stalling. Push-ups on your knees. Full push-ups on a couch or high plank. Okay, patty cakes? If that's you and you're holding the high plank, you're just holding that plank with your hands. I'm going to make sure this heat is down because Marty's working hard and he's hot. No, it's just that it was a warm day today. All right. Nice, Scott. Nice work, guys. And lunges are next. So a reverse lunge. Reverse lunge, bottoms up split squat, or these hip hinges, single leg hip hinge. All right. Here we go. Take a step back. That's two. Three, I'm moving this weight because Marty's making me nervous. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Make sure on this exercise that you're stepping far enough back um, to allow your torso to stay upright. Try not to lean forward when you when you take that reverse lunge. Is this three? Okay. Four. Five. Find a focal point. That'll keep your shoulders back. Possibly it might help. With posture. And what's your count there, Marty? Okay. 10, 11. I like your little step to the front. You look, you're putting a little flare on there. It looks like you're a little dance. All right. And rows, rows are next. So listen, in this position, if you're doing a row, bent over row, um, it's really important that you are pulling in a straight line. Go ahead, Marty, you can start. I'm just kind of going over some things I wanted, to, I was correcting this morning. And listen, prone tees, you're still working really hard with prone tees. Okay. Is that four or five? Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right. Excellent. Two down, one to go. One round to go. Grab your water. You're getting a one minute break.
You're putting the fans on. So you're going to just blow hot air around because heat rises. <laughs> okay. Let's set up for that squat. Last round. You ready? I don't know. I feel like it was. Minor technicalities. You need a few more seconds, Marty? Is that what you're saying? Okay. There we go. One. Slow it down. Going down is a little bit slower. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Perfect. Okay. It's it's a pushing motion. It's a push up. It's a high plank. Your choice. So I want you to think about your breath here. Inhale down, exhale, push. Inhale down, exhale two. Inhale down, exhale three. Inhale down, exhale four. If you're holding a high plank, you're going to go for this whole count that we're doing right here. Is that six? Yep. Seven. Inhale down, exhale eight. Inhale down, exhale nine. Inhale down, exhale ten. Inhale down, exhale eleven. Inhale down, exhale twelve. Woo! All right, we're almost at the end. Almost there. This is a hard one. I did this one last night. And I I was sore today. Was that last night? No, that was Monday night. I don't even know what day it is. Okay, reverse lunges. Sorry. Yes, reverse lunges. Today's Tuesday, right? Yep. Okay. Two. Three. Four. See how Marty's stepping back? Pretty far, keeping his torso lifted. What's the count? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, twelve. All right, last exercise before we move on to the cardio portion. Prone T's on the last one for Marty. All right, awesome. You're doing prone T's. This is your position. Exhale as your arms come up. Inhale down. Exhale two. Inhale down. Exhale up three. Inhale, exhale up four, inhale down, exhale up five, inhale down, exhale up six and down, exhale up seven, inhale down, exhale up eight, inhale down, exhale up nine, inhale down, exhale up ten, inhale down, exhale up eleven, inhale down, exhale up Twelve. Woo. Now you're really going to catch your breath. Wow. I'm getting cold. 
How are you guys feeling out there? Hopefully you're feeling good and getting in a decent workout. Oh, Patty Cake said you have good form, Marty. Patty Cake said, said you have good form. I would hope so. I hope so. All right, we're resting. We're catching our breath. We're definitely hydrating. Okay, so you're going to pick three exercises, and you're just going to keep on rotating them. So we're going to do 30 on, 30 off, and you can do jumping jacks, modified jumping jacks, full body extensions, jump rope, quick step, uh, mountain climber, all the usual suspects. Okay, I'm going to get the timer going. We're going to do 30 on, 30 off. And we're doing 12 rounds. So it's even jogging in place with that. Modified jumping jack if you need that. All right, lots of options. Ready, Marty? Here comes the tough part. Well, I think it's the tough part. A lot of people love this part. I think this part's harder than the strength part. More water, definitely drink more water. I get to do this in the morning, don't I? Mm. <laughs> ready? Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. Remember, it's all up here. It's all mental. It's all mental, baby. All right, we go. All right. This is great. Finishing up this workout, finishing this day off. You could be proud. You could say, I got my workout in, and I'm feeling good. And you only have eight seconds left. Please go by quick. And it's time. All right, here's your rest. All good. All good stuff. You're going to be happy you did. You have 10 seconds left till we start another round. What are you doing next? Full body extensions for Marty. And three, two, one, go. Full body extension. So he's pushing his hips back. It's not a squat. And he is lifting off the floor, but you don't have to if, if that's your choice. But it's, you know, those arms come, come up. It's swinging those arms that really gets that heart rate up too. And then you don't want to really lean too far forward and round out that back as well. You got six seconds left. Three, two, and time. Okay. Rolling light right along. Staying positive. Getting through it. A very short amount of work. Six minutes. Six minutes of work. That's it. Compare that to the, you know, going on a treadmill for an hour. Boring. Boring. Three, two, one. Here we go. And jumping jacks. Remember the modification for this. Want to do a real quick modification? Yeah, yeah, just like that. Yeah, great. Keep it going. You can do it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Back to jump rope from Marty. What's your next move? Is it a quick step? Is it a jogging in place? Is it a full body extension? Is it a mountain climber? 
You got choices, lots of choices. Eight seconds left to get the next mini party started. Three, two, one, go. Here's our mini party. Marty's doing some wild reverse jumping jacks. This is this is good stuff. Where's the popcorn? I can watch this all night long. And it's seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Looks like Marty's going a quick step. And you got three, two, one, and go. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. You can do it. And 10 seconds left. Oh, you're being so good to your heart right now. You're being so good to your body. Three, two, one. Yeah, we got to treat our bodies well. Got to take care of our bodies. It's the only one we get. Is that what you just said, Marty, too? Yeah. <sighs> All right. So we're almost halfway there. That sounds really bad, right? And go. And you could always tone this down a little bit. You know, if you want to do work for 20 seconds and rest for 40 seconds, that's fine. As long as you're working hard and you give yourself enough rest to work hard. And six seconds left. Four, three. Two, one. Now we're halfway there. Ten seconds left. Four, three. Two, one, sorry, woo. Oh, and it's jumping rope jacks, jumping jack ropes. I knew there was a catchy name to that. All right, that looks pretty fancy, Marty. You got skills, okay. All right, everybody, we got seven seconds left. Hang in, hang in, hang in. Three, two, one. Okay. All right. We're almost halfway through the month. We don't have much longer for our quarantine thing, right? Four. Three, two, and go. It's no fair. I'm going to have a quarantine birthday. That is no fair. And you got 10 seconds left. Marty's doing full body extensions. And he's got three seconds left, and so do you. And time. All right, now we're really, really getting to the to the end. And you guys can all relax, have a healthy dinner. Huh? 
Sure. Yeah. 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 Marty needs another water. I'm going to go grab him some water and go. All right, five seconds, four, three, two, and one. There you go. So three left, right? Three left? All right. So three left. That's nothing. Nothing. A minute and a half of work. Almost there. I better get out of the way because it looks like he's pulling out the rope. And go. And it's fancy footwork, Marty. How about one leg? Yeah. Oops. How about the crossover? All right, 10 seconds left, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You can't do what? Ah. Oh, leave that for me. Okay. You guys breathing heavy? Three, two, one. Here we go. Full body extensions. Hips go back. Not a, not a big bend in the knee at all. And you're not even going that far forward as well. Okay. You got this. You got this. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. That's one. All right. Catching your breath. Ten seconds left. And three, two, one, and go. Halfway there. Only 10 seconds left. You guys did it. Five. Four, three, two, one. That's quite an accomplishment. All right. Nice work. Marty's fist bumping the computer. So stick around and stretch. First, definitely catch your breath. Walk around the house a little bit. Let that heart rate come down before you get onto the mat. Oh, here. No, go, go right in front. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. No, I do. I do. All right, we're going to stretch out, you guys. I'm definitely going to give you a few seconds. Perfect time to do some static stretching. Body's warmed up. All those muscles are ready to relax.
Joints are lubed up. All right, I'm going to shut this timer off. And then you're gonna, you guys are going to get on all fours. Let's go on all fours. Here. Okay, so we're going to go inhale and... Oh my God, some glasses off, otherwise they're going to fall off anyway. We're going to inhale as you drop the head and tailbone and lift up the belly. And then you're going to exhale as you... Go in the opposite direction. You arch your back, lift your head and tailbone. So go four breaths at your own pace, nice and slow, slowly. Inhale, exhale. Okay. So from here, let's go straighten out that right leg and leave the toes on the ground. So you're going to curl your toes under. Now just bring that windshield wiper, that foot up underneath your body and make your way down a little bit. But I want you to stay lifted to start. Shoulders are down, back is straight. And once you've found that position, you're going to make your way down to the mat. Only wherever your body will allow you to go. So let's do three deep breaths here. Really deep inhale. And like a five count exhale. Relax your body. Try not to hold on to any tension. I want you to think about um, other parts of your body that you're not stretching. Are you tightening them up or are you trying to relax into this? Let's go back up onto all fours. The same thing, opposite direction. So left foot straightens out, toes are on the floor, and then windshield wiper that foot underneath your body. Stay lifted. Look forward. And then walk your way down if that's available for you, if, if, if your body will allow you to do that. Otherwise, you're up here. I'm sure you're feeling that stretch just the same. Three deep breaths here. Inhale. And then exhale. Long exhale. Count of five. Okay. All right. Make your way up to a seated position. And if you need to um, elevate up, I want you to sit on a pillow. Because in this position, I really want you to get your back straight. So if you need to roll up your mat, that's fine. We're going to take that left foot, bring it into your inner thigh, and then take your torso and line it up with the straight leg. So you're not twisted in this direction, you're forward. Okay, so here we go. We're going to bring that right arm up, and you're going to lean forward, lean forward, lean forward, and then grab the inside of that foot. Did I do that right? I think I was supposed to go the opposite way. Yeah, I was. I think it's this is the left arm. So the leg that's in front, same arm on that side, and then lean forward. The opposite, the outside of that foot. Sorry. <laughs> this is much harder. And then you're going to do that breathing here as well. Let's go to the other side. So left leg straightens out, right leg comes in, that inner thigh. Let's do the correct side this time. Right, right arm goes up. Yeah, right arm goes up. Start to lean forward. The torso, you're going to push those hips forward and then grab onto the outside of that foot. And I want you to breathe. Or, you know, if you're not reaching your foot, that's fine. Grab onto the your shin. 
wherever you feel that stretch. If you want to, you can take your other hand and place it on the inside of your foot. I really feel this in my back. It feels great on my back. And again, of course, if anything doesn't feel good, you're going to skip it or you're going to modify it. All right, let's go on to our backs. Straighten that left leg. Hug that right knee into your chest. And let's start to straighten out that leg. If you need the strap, you're going to put that around your foot. Doesn't matter where your leg is. Not a competition. So if your leg is here, as long as that knee is is uh there's no bend in that knee that's where i want your leg and you're breathing into that stretch relaxing your body all right let's go straighten out that right leg hug that left knee in and then straighten that leg Breathing. Okay, hug both knees in. We're going to make your way up to a seated position. So you're going to rock yourself up. And make yourself comfortable, cross-legged or... However you want to sit, we'll stretch a little bit of upper body. Take your right hand, bring it up, bend your elbow so your hand is behind your head, and then take the opposite arm and squeeze onto that elbow, staying lifted. Try to look straight ahead. A little tricep stretch right there. Flat stretch. And then bring those arms down. Opposite arm comes up, bend the elbow so your hand is behind your head, and then take your opposite hand and squeeze onto that elbow, pushing those that arm together. How do I describe this? Pushing your hand into your ulna. Pull your elbow toward your head. That's perfect, Marty. All right, bring those arms down. Let's take a little rounding out of that spine and drop that head for an inhale and then exhale, sit up nice and tall. And let's do that two more times. Just drop that head, round that spine, sit up nice and tall. One more time, inhale and exhale, sit up nice and tall. You guys are done and I'm proud of you and thank you so much for coming tonight and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. See you tomorrow.